My breasts are tingling. This is my life. I don't regret this. Anderson and you got surgery yesterday, right? Yes. This was leaking. They're so pushed up. I can't. Good morning, it's day two. Day two of the promenade. I have definitely been walking three times last night. So, to, to do the medicine. And not only just the medicine, I did the medicine and what you call it? Well, the bathroom. And then I also put out my guarantee on my train. So, three times this day. The, the pain medicine does work, but that does not completely absolve me of pain. So, there's an FYI there. And here's my hunch. I would like to say that I'm standing up a lot more than I expected. Like, I could be like this, but I can comfortably stand like this. So, this is how I'm standing. I, you saw that I tried to take out my, check my skin yesterday, but it was making me so winded and tired. So I stopped. Today I have my follow-up appointment. So, I know the doctor will take that stuff off. And check herself so then I can see myself for the first time underneath but I can already tell you can't see my face I can already tell that I look snatched you can just tell by looking at it and this is a BBL garment but not but because it needs to go all the way down here because it needs to it needs to do the sides because I have 360 light bulb and it needs to go down to the mons she did shape she she did light bulb and mons mons is the padded area here so that's why i have this whole thing on and not just a waist thing and then it also needs to come up here because you know otherwise what would happen is if you just do a waist trainer type thing a waist garment you'll have a bulge here and a bulge here and nobody wants that okay so that's why i have this on all right it's oh it's in my mouth crossed all right, it's 5, 5, 5, 540, so it's time for my next medicine. And I've been writing down my, I've been writing down my liquid, not my liquid, yeah, my fluid output from the drains on here. So what I've been doing is, every three hours, going to the bathroom, medicine, and drains. Because it's two medicines, diazepam for muscle relaxer, and Norco for the pain. But I feel like that the, 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 as the pan, I don't know, whatever. That's what it is, okay? So when I do it, I just do it all together. And I don't feel like my legs are swollen like I thought they would be. So I guess I'll keep this compression sock on for, for today a little bit and take it off. I need some lotion. I feel so dry. All right. And then I also took out my personal wipes. Because I do want to wipe my armpits and put on some deodorant. Because I smell like I need deodorant. <laughs> I don't smell. I mean, I use an antiseptic, so for God's sake. But you know, still. And some of this stuff is in meow meow meow. So I can't wait to go to her so we can see what's going on. Because it's pulling me. Yeah, what is this? I don't know what this is. I think this was left, left over. I don't know what that is. Okay. So first things first. What am I doing? Oh my god. Was it task again? Yeah. Task again. Shit. Yeah, I'm getting task again. Uh huh. I almost forgot son. But yeah, I I feel good. I wouldn't I wouldn't I don't regret this, by the way. I do not regret this. Because I know I'm gonna look amazing. I don't regret it at all. Oh I gotta get some more water. I've been dominating my water. My hands are swollen. I'll tell you that. This hand is the one that had the IV in it. I got a bruise. That one is swollen, can you see? That for sure. And maybe my face and my lips, I don't know. I need some more water, maybe. Took my medicine. And let me go. I already went to the bathroom at two. I don't believe I need to go right now, but that's why I would prefer to, to pour all the drain. So, uh, yeah, actually, now that I stood here and relaxed a little bit, I, you know how you just stay still and you can feel like you need to go to pee. Hold on. 
Sitting on the toilet is not hard. Alright, so let me check drain number one. I'm going to wash my hands afterwards. My back does hurt from not the muscles from how I'm standing. It hurts from the lipo. But you know, all of this is tolerable. I, mean, I have a high pain tolerance and it is tolerable. <laughs> but uh, it is at some points really freaking painful. I do feel better today. So you unhook it and then look and see. So this is a 45. So 45 cc's in the left. And then I just squeeze it. Squeeze the fluid into the toilet. I want to squeeze it into the sink. It should go in the toilet. Okay. What was that? 45. Oh, then you have to squeeze. And then actually. Okay, I have to get this. I have to strip, well, strip it. So, because there might be a blood clot, or it might be a, something that will stock this up. Yeah, when I, oh my god, this particular drain on the left must be in my back because whenever I do this stripping, it's sucking something in my back. It's like it's, you know. It is so weird. It is sucking something in my back. Wow, this is. And it hurts a little bit. This looks like a suction. Crazy. Okay. I'm pulling this out. And I close. Close and then hook the pin somewhere on this garment. Just hook it into the top somewhere. Let me strip this one now. Oh, that was kind of stripping. All right. See, when I do this one, I don't be feeling anything on the inside. So left 45, left 45, I don't remember. Left 45, right 30. Left 45, right 30. Oh wait. I guess we get it. Squeeze and then do it. Because they both need to be flat or deflated. Alrighty. I don't mind to put my earrings back in. Put the clothes on me. Oh, I can take off that patch, right? in my ear. I can imagine. These are my these are my Amazon earrings that I keep in 24-7. And then I change them when they get old looking. Why am I talking low? I don't know why. <laughs> Is it because of my sore throat? Or because it's the morning time. Maybe the combination of both. But I still cannot believe that yeah where's the hole oh my god there it is can't even see it i still can't believe that i did this <laughs> that it's done it is so strange to me but i know i did it but it's so fast it happened so fast you know to me perfect i'm going in so easily do I want to look pretty? Mm -hmm. Do I look pretty? I do need some chapstick. I've been using the Fenty one. <laughs> I've in the bed. But right here is what I have. This is a time where honestly face wipes will come in. <laughs> well, my face is not dirty though. Let me treat this like when I get my brows done. My face itself is not dirty. I'm going to just go in with this uh Serum. There's one thing about me is I gotta do my face, okay? I don't moisturize. I do my skincare. I am going to run this Polish Choice BHA. Not, not this recovery skincare routine. I had to run this Polish Choice BHA over my chin because I do have a breakout. 
the chin always breaks out. It's annoying. So I'm using a cotton pad. I don't feel like putting it on my hands and doing all this. No. I don't want that. Here's my serum today. Sulawasu. You got a fancy tag, okay? Oh, usually. Okay, I can't do my skin here and see at the same time. <laughs> I'm just Why does my face feel like some stuff on it? I'm lifting my arms. Doesn't, oh, well, <laughs> a little bit in the armpit, so I can do a considerable, uh, yeah, a small lift if needed. Okay, now, pharmacy, vitamin C. I didn't wash my face because I didn't feel like it. And secondly, I usually don't wash my face in the mornings because I wake up dry. So I don't need to wash. I rinsed my eyes, of course. Yeah, that needs to be clean, like ew. But washing your face, no, not for me. But, <clears throat> but if I were to go work out, yeah. When I shower, I wash my face. That's my sunscreen. Okay, now we are back in action. It's crazy, yesterday I was eating toast and I was laying down eating it and I didn't think to put something in my chest. So I had crumbs all over my, all over my chest, what the hell? Um, something is hurting on under here, it must be the lipo incision. Okay, body wipes, I'm really gonna just do my armpits and my groin. I'm not even doing anything. Oh, something came off. What is that? Is that blood? What's on my skin? What is that? Well, what's on my skin? Why does it look like something? Okay. Let me actually wipe my, my arm. I did not think. What? I didn't have any makeup on. Why was that there? Hold on a second. Still the whole arm. Weird. Strange. Look at my armpit just hanging out. That's swelling. Because she did light bulb on this, so that's just smelly. I don't know what this orange stuff is. It's hard to go to the back. <laughs> Let me go through this way. <laughs> I can't. Oh my god. They must have washed me down again with something that was brown or red. Because, yeah, yeah, maybe they, you know, how, and do you see movies and shows where they put that red stuff on you and then they operate? Must have been because. I don't want to see all this red. Okay. And brown. My appointment is at 9.30. It's now 6. I'm going to just stay awake because you know I I get up early anyway. This is tight, man. I like to... Oh, is that a bruise? Yeah. Okay. I'm awake. I need to get this off. What is this? Oh. What was that for? They took off the other ones, but you forgot that one. Are you serious? Take all it off, please. Thank you. Okay. I feel like a million bucks. I'm going to have a massage at 10 30 today. So, yeah. Here we have it. Oh, I'm passing you in it. 
Hold on, hold on, hold on. Um, deodorant and lotion. Actually. As best as I can. <laughs> I was telling them, like, you know, I get this from you. The strength, the stick to the the yeah. self initiative. My mom is very strong, just very get it done, very reliable, very, you know, all the things. So, I mean, unless she's sick or she's tired and she does have different ailments and stuff, she's a get up and do it. She's a get up and go woman. So, <laughs> yesterday she was like, why don't you sit down? Let me do it for you. I'm like, no. I want to get up. And I'm like, I get this from you. Like later, your mouth is dry still. Not as bad as yesterday. Overheating. Y'all annoying. Could use a loony. This camera's annoying. Might not overheat now. Insane. Can't just get busy. Or I'm just cleaning it. Because it needs to be clean. And I've walked several times, even at night. <clears throat> and now I'm just walking around. I have some flowers I need to unbox. Can you imagine? Huh? I can do them now or later. You know, I just like to do things, you feel me? I just sit around like that. I'm gonna light my candle. Let's do that. And I'm advised to walk around, so I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing. And you know, in the mornings, candles are important to me. Now we're headed to stop at Duncan from Grandma, obviously. And then go to my pre op appointment. Excuse me, post op appointment. But I almost forgot. My 8.30 medicine. <coughs> I have alarms on my phone. Okay. 8.30 is hydrocodone. I'm um, just going to do that right now. Well, we go. Before we go. And then, gas pan will be at 11.30. Sweater dress? Phenomenal. It's full fleece. 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 It's full fleece on the inside. And it's so comfy. And it goes right past my knees. I saw, what's her name? She's a fitness person. And she's, she got hers done recently. And I saw her post and I was like, what? I need that. I love it. I got it in black and gray. And I'm just wearing the gray one again because... Why waste clothes? <laughs> so yeah, so I have my compressions on. It's cold outside anyway. And then I'm gonna put on my shoe. Here you go. All right. So now we're going to the post-op appointment. And as you can see, I'm walking pretty well. I would say. It's to the massage now. Oh, it's nice out today. Getting down is not too bad. <laughs> um, all our patients, you know, we have to, you know, make sure that they come. Yes, please. Everything. It takes time. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I was running over with the appointment, my po my post op oh, appointment. Yes. So sorry. No, no worries. Understand, and you got surgery yesterday, right? Yesterday. Yes. Just yesterday. So and here I am right now. Hi. Oh, wow. Hi, you. Hmm. My Biffy, I'm home now. And the appointment went well. The doctor and the nurse are both like, 
you don't look like someone that just got surgery yesterday. And I'm like, I know. I don't even feel like someone that had just gotten surgery yesterday. What? So they were like, you look so good. My results are phenomenal. I did take a video, but I don't know how much of that I'm going to show you because I was naked. So you can see my tapes. But I'm so glad that I'm doing so much. Like I'm doing well, like they said. And I'm moving easily too. You know, I'm a, listen, I'm a strong woman. And I believe that most women are really strong. If you can birth a child, take care of a family, go through trials and, tribu tribu uh, trials and tribulations, you can do this, yo. You can do it. It doesn't mean it's not going to be painful. It is always painful. I'm fine when I'm sitting. I'm fine when I'm laying. But then when I get up, the gravity is just like pulling on me. So that's when I feel pain. But it's definitely doable. I'm proud of myself. And it was nice to hear them say that I looked so good. I looked good. And it was, they could tell how I was walking. Like, you know, you're doing great. So I'm happy. Then I had my, I was late. The appointment was longer than I expected. I had you know, a lot of questions, whatever. So the doctor said that I can change my garment to a smaller size. So I, I'm in a BBL garment. But instead of, since I didn't get a BBL, my waist will shrink and my butt won't. So she was saying that I may need to get my garment tailored at a certain point. Let me go put this down. But then, the more we spoke, she was like, actually, you can, the other nurse was like, actually, you can just go down the size. Because right now I'm wearing an XX, double XL garment. And they're like, you can actually go down the size because there's space in the thigh that they're saying just shows that there's more room than I need. So I purchased another garment, an XL. This garment came with my whole payment, but then to get something new, I had to pay for that. So pay for that. I just feel sleepy and tired because they took off my garment, which was nice to get to see everything. But then, oh my God, it was painful. And then putting it back on and then took it off at the massage place and putting it back on. And then the massage, you know, the massage was painful. She was going very slow. She was very gentle. But it's painful. My whole body is sore. Well, my abdomen is sore and everything. So it definitely was painful. I was like, shit. So they said I should come each day for a few days, which I expected. My doctor, however, said twice a week is good. But no, I'm going to do it each day for now at least. So I'm going to do Friday and Saturday. Today's day two still. Skip Christmas Day. And then... I'll jump back on it on Monday. My body is snatched. Do you hear me? It is insane how, how like crazy all this is. So I already used the bathroom at the massage parlor. So I definitely use the bathroom, but I'm gonna go sit on the toilet just to do, take out my drain, on the empty my drains. I, I, my throat still hurts me badly and then I still can't cough. I feel like there's something in my throat I want to get out, but I can't cough, obviously, because the freaking cough is painful. I tried coughing the other day, and I was like, hell no. So I'm leaving that there. My throat is just going just like annoying. Oh, medicine. Let me go do this drain. And they said I can actually shower. She said I can shower, just like hold the drain and hook the drain. So I'm like, I'm like, no, I'm not doing all that. I'll do my wipes over here. And I'll wait. I want to shine. I'm already like, I get winded or something. I'm not about to be. The one one nurse said that she got a BB, uh, tummy tuck last year. And took her an hour to shower. Like, what? I guess she was going slow. It's just too much. No, I'm fine. I don't have any odors. And I'm going to just lay low when it comes to that. So, yeah. Let me go do this.
to cough. Good, hang on. Did I tell you that there was a tube in my mouth, my throat? I didn't even know I was gonna have that. Well, it gave me a sore throat and I feel like it's flooding my throat that I wanna get out from my lungs, but I can't get out because my cough, it freaking hurts. I can't cough because it freaking hurts. Yeah. So I had my post-op appointment today, like I told you. It went really well. They were happy with how I look and so am I. And I saw my incisions, it was like, whoa. And <clears throat> I was late to my massage because the post-op took a long time. And the massage lady was really gentle. She really was. But my God, that was painful. Certain spots were so painful. My lower, you know where the spare tire is? My whole lower ear hurts. Because the light on the back and then the, wow. That massage hurt, man. So I came home. So I just took my hydrocodone, cord, yeah, codone, because that's, every three hours it's codone, diazepam, codone, diazepam, codone, diazepam, and diazepam is, diazepam is the muscle relaxer, the codone is for pain. So there's that, and let's see, I did finally eat today. And I can't lie, this low sodium stuff is a challenge because I'm still doing keto. I still want to be healthy and fit. So I was like, oh my God, I want to make some spinach too, I need spinach too. And I said, you know what, screw it. I just ate some. And I've been drinking a lot of water, which is good. I have a massage tomorrow and Saturday. This is still day two, by the way, just to help with the inflammation, but I'm just tired. And this is painful. This is definitely painful, but uh, I'm in good spirits and ooh, I still don't regret it. But I swear that massage, that massage, like, oh my God, it hurts. So I feel like what I'm feeling in my stomach is more than before. She was very gentle, but still hurt. Still hurt. When I went to my appointment and the nurse was like, you look good today. You got makeup on. I said, I got makeup on. This is my natural face. She was so shocked. I was like, yeah, this is my natural skin. I got nothing on. Glasses and my skincare. That's it, mama. Yeah, I just feel tired. Getting in and out of the, in and out of the car, forget it. Up and down the bed, forget it. Huh? Everything else is fine. But the car and the bed, did I? Jay. And uh, <clears throat> it would be nice to have the massages in my house, but it's 180 versus 90 when I go there. So, I'm just gonna go there. Yeah, I feel like I have more to say, but can't talk too much. I'm tired. So, that's my update. I'm watching YouTube. It is currently day three, Friday. <laughs> day three post up. And. I am definitely walking a lot faster, <laughs> moving faster. When I'm laying down, I'm fine. When I'm sitting down, I'm fine. It's the getting up. It's the getting up that just stretches everything all over again, even though I'm hunched. That makes it a challenge, but then once I'm up, I'm up and I'm fine. So that's the, that's the problem there. When, my, when both of my drains don't pass 25, CCs for two days in a row, then the drains can come out. And <clears throat> yesterday they were at 25, 25, I have two drains, and then today, twice, on two different occasions, they were at like 10 and 15. <sighs> I ate <clears throat> just the spinach from the spinach stew, you know, I'm gonna make spinach stew, so I ate just the spinach. Oh, I had a protein shake, and in the morning I also had an iced matcha latte. I don't feel hungry per se, but of course I am gonna eat. And I'm gonna make my coffee this morning. <clears throat> I still feel I still have a cough. I need to get this cough out. But the coughing is so painful, it's insane. So I keep clearing my throat. And even that is like it helps a little bit, but not entirely. I need to cough so badly. 
Ooh, coughing is like, coughing feels like I'm ripping myself apart, seriously. <clears throat> so I did do a cough drop last night because my throat was just like so scratchy. This is weird. Like, how does that tube give me a sore throat? It, it literally feels like a, like a cold. It feels like a kind of sore throat from a cold. It's just odd. Today I was supposed to go to a massage, but it's like 11 degrees outside. So they agreed to cancel. Because of the weather, you know, Houston, they can't deal with cold weather. They can't deal with it. And I'm like, fine, no problem for me. That joint was painful anyway. Massage tomorrow. But I am supposed to take my, I'm supposed to take the garment off one hour each day. So I will take it off today, later. Yeah, it feels so good when it's off. Goodness gracious. Hmm. Oh my God, I'm gonna show you my flowers. Love these. Got so many flowers over here. And some right here. I mainly feel wicked tight. Like if I could just not feel so tight, it'd be great. I sit more today. I'm tired of laying down. Oh my gosh. Maybe. Marie bought my Christmas and birthday gift yesterday. So, so sweet. I'll show you in a second. So sitting down, I feel great. I feel fine. I feel no pain at all. I just feel tight. It's when you get up and everything moves. It gets, it gets open at the door. That's when it's like, oh, really? Really? You have to do that? But I'm going to sit here for today. I'm tired of laying down. My back doesn't hurt because of being hunched over. The lower part hurts because of the light bulb. And there's a tube in the lower part. So that's the part that hurts in my back. Yo, you literally would not think that I'm someone that had surgery three days ago. <laughs> you would not think that. I'm just not a lay around person. And not only that, but I have mad emails to get through. And I'm also just not a lay around person. So I need to move, I need to walk around and I feel good, so I'm just gonna be sitting here. I'm planting myself here for today. I'm gonna lay down too much, it's annoying. I wish I could take this freaking garment off. I do get to take it off for an hour, <sighs> so I do look forward to that because it's so tight. I already ordered clothes, as you can imagine. <laughs> I already ordered all of my new body clothes. My back is itching, and it's not even necessarily where the incisions are. It's probably freaking dry. Nini had a back scratcher, and I wish I knew where it was. Oh, I need to scratch my back. Oh man, Ooh, this is gonna annoy me. Take my apple pencil. Ooh, nah, yo, I need the proper back scratcher. Oh, yo, somebody come. Ah, my back is sore from the lipo. Ooh, when I go down the bottom track, oh, forget it. Ooh, this is not gonna work. Huh. Okay, that's uncomfortable. Oh my God. I, all of a sudden, I started to feel like I was getting chills. And I'm thinking, why am I so cold? The heat's on. I feel tingly. I feel tingly and it's itchy. My stomach, my back, not, not the itching from before. Before, I just felt like I needed a little scratch. Right now, I literally feel like tingles. Ooh, it's uncomfortable. It's like if, you, if you've ever had a baby and your stomach stretches and, you, and it itches and you scratch, it feels like that. Oh my God, this is weird. Even my breasts are tingling. That means it's healing. Ooh, it's uncomfortable. Wow, it's giving me chills. I have goosebumps. Or is the heat too low? Let me go, fit, let me go check the heat again. Oh, <clears throat> man, if I had long nails, I would freaking scratch myself right now, but I'm sure that wouldn't be advisable. Ooh, I feel itchy. Okie dokie. Maybe I need to get an allergy pill. Is it hives? No, it's literally my breast, my stomach, and my back. My breasts are tingling, like legit tingles. And I have my period, so my stomach feels weird. This is crazy. Like, And I watched the video too. Somebody was like, I'm getting my period tomorrow. And I'm like, oh man, that's not me. When I booked the date, I didn't even think about my period. And here I am with a period. It, has, it comes today. So I put in a tampon to just catch it because... I don't wear underwear number one, and that's normally what I do. I just plug it before I put the day of. And only that, I have this garment on it. It has an opening. I can be sitting here and, no, TMI. So I did plug myself, 
and I, I can feel the cramps. But it's weird because it's like, is it the cramps from my surgery or is it the period cramps? Because the other day, when I was to see it tingles right in the middle here. Jesus. The other day when I was describing the feeling, I was like, the lower abdomen feels like very heavy period cramps. Well, now I'm getting my period, so. Ooh, boy. It's the tingling for me, God. Oh my goodness. Hmm. Okay. All right, still day three. Getting in and out of bed is hard. Oh my God. I have to cough. And I, oh my God. I have to cough. Wow, that was like, ooh. Oh, I felt the phlegm come up and it hurts so badly because my abs tightened. Shoot. I need to cough so badly and I can't. Yo, so I spent the first part of the day sitting at the dining table, which was good because laying down is just too much. It's just too boring. And getting up is so painful. So that was good. Then I came and laid down because I wanted to sleep. I took a little nap. I'm not sleeping full. I'm just sleeping. I'm just taking cat naps. This is not the most comfortable, comfortable position. And when I'm laying down. I'm fine. I made a mistake today. I ate. Maybe I ate too much or what it was. I don't know. It was too heavy because I didn't eat much yesterday. And it just it's making my stomach like like it's twisting, it's twisting. It's not like I need to go to the bathroom either. Granted, I haven't had a bowel movement in two days. But I was fine until I ate that. It was egg and something, something, something. It's really, it's really painful. So it's, it's confusing because it's like, obviously I had an abdominal surgery. And then I have this intestinal issue happening. It's driving me insane. But so, so for that reason, I came and laid down. And then I got my period. So it's like, is this the period? Is this the food I ate? What the hell is going on? Yo, I didn't plan on doing the surgery on my period. But I did look and I was like, oh my God, it falls on my period. Good thing I wear tampons because can you imagine wearing a pad and underwear on top of this garment oh it'll be so gross and yucky like already you have on this tight freaking garment like so put a tampon in and show enough when i went back to the bathroom it was soaked so you know and my drains are getting lighter and less and less fluid which is really really great lighter color fluid and then less amount of fluid I wasn't going to shower because I thought it would just be too much work. But honest to God, I'm going to just shower later today. Ah, my stomach is like... It's like, it can be me and me. Something is like pinching me. So it's just, it's, it's just a weird time to have tummy ache slash period slash tummy tuck. I did drink Miralax earlier. But I've had Miralax in the past and it didn't give me cramps. So this is definitely not because of the mirror lags. Anyway, I'm laying down now because I did want to rest. And the back pain that I have is from the lipo. It's not like from me being hunched over. It's from the lipo. Most people around me, they've all had kids and they're like, oh, I'm getting mine, I'm doing mine. And you know, I don't, I don't document this to encourage you to do it. I document this because this is my life. I'm not going to hide it and it would just be too much to hide it. So it just is what it is, right? But yeah, people are even more motivated, which is so funny. I'm like, everybody should do whatever their heart desire. Everyone should do what their heart desire because that's what I'm always going to do. You feel me? So yeah, tomorrow's my massage. Look forward to that because that's supposed to be helping. And yeah, I feel gassy. I feel gassy and... I can't push too much to get it out because the abs. So it just needs to like, it just needs to roll out by itself. Oh, okay. Let me just lay here and do some breathing exercises. Oh, that food, that food just killed me. And I'm, I'm still drinking my water. I'm also drinking diet ginger ale. I, I've always, I've always had diet ginger ale. So yeah, yeah. It's my update. Do you want to see my breasts? They look so full. They look like I've had implants. 
and obviously I have not. They're so pushed up. And if you know, you know that my breasts were not, there was no, I didn't have any profile, okay? There was no profile and things were saggy. I am about to go, oh, let me check my drain actually. Drains, let me check my drains and then go shower because I need to take this off for one hour today. So that one hour will be my shower. But I'm so proud because this is lightening up which is really good. Oh, and these are clean towels that need to be folded, so let me go and fold them. Just an effort to get up and not be laying down so much, get the blood flowing through my body. I haven't taken off these socks in days, but I don't feel I don't feel swelling. Maybe a little bit on my left ankle, but other than that, not really. I'm going to change these or pour out these drains in a little bit. It's still day three because surgery was two. Oh, surgery was Wednesday. So today's Friday. Yeah, day three. Whew. Just now, when I was getting down off the bed, it wasn't as painful. So that's a good thing. I'm definitely healing you know so it's good i am still very happy it still feels unreal it feels fake <laughs> it feels unreal because you know i went for a consult in july and <laughs> december 1st what was it the 30 30th of november one of those oh, i didn't bleach these towels i just washed them so they're not as white as they can be these are my kitchen towels whatever so yeah, I just eat 11 and said, I'm ready. When's the earliest date? You know, so in that case, it feels very like, not very like, ooh, something's itchy back here. One of the lipo areas just started tingling. <clears throat> so just scratching. <laughs> in that case, it feels very flushed. But when you look at it, I had already been thinking about this and went for the consultation back in July. It's good to get up and move around get the body moving not feel so stiff I feel like it's easy to feel like a board like an actual cardboard something over here is freaking pinching me too much I look forward to taking this off it's pinching me and I put the drains back on I the drain the foam back on I bought a smaller garment and different padding she said it's Hard to wash the padding, so I'm like, okay. We'll see, it's weird. Sometimes I feel like I can feel the fluid moving. I thought I just felt something. Maybe I was just thinking. I don't know. <sighs> <clears throat> there was a fold on my side from the way that the padding was. I'll show you as much as I can today. Cause my butt is big, my waist is small. This has always been my natural case. So when they took my garment off yesterday in the doctor's office, there was this fold, a prominent fold. It was like my butt was pressed against my side. So the lady put a foam there to help straighten it out. And of course today I want to check it and make sure that it's not folded there. Like it's not supposed to be folded like that. But that's what happens when you got a big old booty and a small waist, you know? All these problems. I'm gonna shower gonna be quick, it ain't gonna be too long. We don't need to be here all day. Okay. I even want to see if it's swollen. It doesn't feel like it. No, I don't think so. Yeah. Wow, my feet are dry. Perfecto. Alright. Already no, that feels like a workout. Okay, so it's five. So now we know by six to put the garment back on. <sighs> oh, it feels so good. Just to get off. Oh. No, it feels good. It's so tight. Oh. Yeah. It feels good. Just 
Quel long de route. Okay. Even the armpits, I think. Feels good to get it off. It's okay to put it here. So we can cross that. Even more closer because not that's a baby. Well, we'll take the bra off. There's something like pinching in here. Oh, anyway, it? yeah, we'll see it when we do that. Okay. You can do, you can leave the foam. Let's just roll it down. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. So you want to roll down the this back. This is zipped all the way down. Ah, uh, that yeah, that's the farthest it goes. Oh yeah. Maybe I feel we will hide it. I don't know. So I'll I'll roll down the front and roll the back. <laughs> no, yeah. I'll roll the front, you roll the back. We'll do it the same time. Okay, let me know. And I'm just roll. Mm -hmm. Okay. We'll uh um, we'll get ready to go. 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 Because this was leaking during the massage, so she put that there. But I feel like it's just a band aid. Yeah. But I feel like it can come off now. You sure? Yes. Leave it? Yeah, I'm sure you're going to do it tomorrow. She'll okay. it. Okay. And then don't forget, she said that we need to change the thing after we oh, shower. Oh, after you shower. Okay. Yeah, so not gonna go, Yeah, I'm gonna bring it here. Okay. Put it here. And then take it off the bra. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. And uh, see that, and also we can use we can just use the scissors to clean it. To clean. Uh, excuse me. We can use the alcohol to clean the scissors. Yeah, but when is the scissors? I have some here. Oh, you have. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 I feel more free right now. Oh, but I'm still in pain. Let's take off this bra. Had to hook the drains onto a necklace. Still gate. Yeah. Yeah. I got the heater on there. Yeah? I cut your full body surgery. Hey, she says. <laughs> but we, we are. We are. It shouldn't be so close. It should be like, you know. Yeah, but where you need stitches in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. good? Okay. Yeah. Just to rub it in the Okay. Uh, I what do you see? Oh no, just at the way. You have to be a new person in my head to have us to ask. I'm hearing you. Yes, we do this. You want to be careful with your baby. You don't know who so what. Rush is a crowd. Your problem for the past few days is dry, probably. Can you can put some cocoa butter there. It's probably dry. Oh, maybe I'm, I don't know. Maybe yeah, first. Oh, okay. Yeah, when my skin gets dry, I get the rashes, the eczema rashes. It's okay. It's very sore. <laughs> now I admit too. 